if I'm actually talking about like liver fibrosis, uh, seed oils are actually probably more problematic. Um, cancer and damaged mitochondria um, that feeds cancer cells, seed oils are probably more problematic. So as much as it seems like I'm disrespecting the seed oil view, I actually am not. I'm just trying to kind of stay in my own lane mm -hmm. where I really am kind of more of an expert. The yeah. connection between seed oils and insulin resistance, I do not believe that it's a direct effect. Wow, okay. For example, you can incubate cells with linoleic acid and they will not become insulin resistant. That's a pretty good piece of evidence. Yeah, it is. It, it, and, and I want someone to, to hear, because I've literally done that. Um, I've incubated cells with all kinds of stimuli and then you just, it's a simple set of experiments. Now I'm going to incubate with some insulin for 10 minutes. I'm going to harvest those cells and now I'm going to look at the signaling the, the, the protein phosphorylation states across a handful of proteins that will tell me, okay, how well did insulin work? So with a, a high degree of authority, I can tell you linoleic acid does not cause direct insulin resistance. What, now, what if it's fried for two weeks and then you do it? Okay, so now we're not even putting on linoleic acid. So this is a really good point. Yeah. If you start to just put on like um, the peroxides uh -huh. of, of this, that starts to change thing where it is, but just so people appreciate how difficult it is to work yeah. with these molecules, they are so reactive that they just become toxic, cytotoxic, where the cells just start to die. And so you oh. can't really even, you, you to try to find the right dose is actually problematic. So the highest expression of insulin resistance is death. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, what, so, so what if you're insulin resistant, if you're killing all your cells? So that's a really, really good point okay. that as much as I've just been talking about linoleic acid, it, the conversation really ought to be looking at the peroxides. Right. So, so that's a really, really important consideration that I need to keep in mind. So Linoleic acid alone doesn't appear to cause insulin resistance. The degree to which its peroxide metabolites do um, I, I don't know, but I, I bet it. I bet it does. I cool. bet there's an effect there. But even still, the way I describe the relevance of linoleic acid is through what it does in the fat cell. So it takes me back to the fat cell because linoleic acid is unique that you can track it. If you eat more of it, you store more of it. And 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 this has been shown in fat tissue from humans. When linoleic acid gets converted to these more reactive molecules like 4-HNE in a fat cell it forces the fat cell to grow through hypertrophy rather than proliferating through hyperplasia. And the difference there is that if you have more fat cells, but they're small, then you're insulin sensitive from the level of the fat tissue, at least, because small fat cells are insulin sensitive and happy fat cells. They're, they're very anti-inflammatory as well. Linoleic acid converted to 4-HNE, one of the more common reactive uh, um, metabolites, tells the fat cell, hey, there's no proliferation happening here. You're just growing through hypertrophy. The hypertrophic fat cell is an insulin resistant and pro-inflammatory fat cell. So when I talk about linoleic acid or seed oils, with, with some caution, I don't like to say that they're a direct cause of insulin resistance like other ones are. Mm -hmm. Insulin is a direct cause. Inflammatory proteins are a direct cause. Like in that yeah. same cell culture, I can put on cytokines and they're insulin resistant in minutes. Um, stress hormones, I can incubate those cells with cortisol or epinephrine, they'll become insulin resistant. But if I do it with linoleic acid, like I said, it's not quite the same effect. Nah. But with, the, with, with all of the myriad metabolites that can be generated, it is very possible that some of those could have a direct effect. I believe the vast majority of the linoleic acid seed oils that people are getting are coming from bags and boxes with barcodes. So if you're just controlling carbs and eating less of that, the good news is your linoleic, your seed oil's essentially gone to zero.